as the winter months come in, you want something a little bit thicker, a little bit more alcoholic. So today we're going back to Vault City for their marshmallow smoothie sour with peach, apricot and cherry. There's a lot in this and at 10.5% it's a big hitter. But what's it going to taste like? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rucker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be going back to Edinburgh and to Sour uh, Vault City uh, for this wonderful sounding sour. This is a marshmallow smoothie sour with peach, apricot, cherry, a strange combination of fruit. 10.5%. It's a big hit of this one. Um, but it's been sitting in my fridge and I thought tonight seems to be the night that I want to drink it. So let's crack this open and put it in a glass. I'm going to say crack this beer open, but it almost feels weird calling it a beer when it's marshmallow and uh, apricot and cherry and all kinds of weird fruit. It's more going to be like a fruit smoothie. It's got a really, I can't get this bloody, I can't get the lid off of it because it's the way that the bottle shaped, see there's got a big sort of lip on the bottle, it's difficult to get out. So anyway, let's get this beer into a glass. Put me, me Rocker's beer glass tonight and see what it looks like. I mean, it's certainly pouring pretty thick. Yeah, that looks really thick. Look at that. I mean, that's like, well, I mean, the colour of it, it's a very strange sort of colour. It's almost like copper coloured um, to me, it's got a bit more of an orange to it. It's almost a little bit like an iron brew, but a sort of darker version. Lots of carbonation sticking to the glass. Two fingers of white head. Yeah, I mean, I'm, this is going to be an interesting one. Let's see what it smells like. It just smells very alcoholic, actually. It almost smells a little bit like an iron brew mixed with a Coke. Oh, it's a it's a it's got a weird smell. It's just like lots of different fruits, boozy, a bit of Coca Cola, and something sweet in it. It's like a, I tell you, I tell, no, I tell you what it's like. It's like a cherry cola. That's what it is. That's to be the cherry in it. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. There's a lot going on in this. It's really creamy and smooth. You get that marshmallowy bit right at the front. And you're getting this sort of, almost like a cherry cola sort of vibe. That's what I'm getting from it. Peach, am I getting peach? It's a bit difficult. There's, it's, it's almost like there's so much sort of going on, they sort of, sort of counter each other out. Let's go again. Cherry, peach and apricot. Three fruits that you don't normally would expect to be together in any sort of fruit juice smoothie. For me, the cherry is the dominant thing. You get a little bit of apricot coming in there. Peach, apricot, similar sort of stone fruit flavours. And then it is got this sort of very creamy sort of feel to it. Almost like a sort of creamy vanilla sort of flavour. And that's what it's like. You know, it feels like I've had something tasting a bit like this before. And I'm sure you get Coke with vanilla and cherry Coke. So it's got that sort of thing. It's got that vibe going for it. It's like a, a sort of a, ch a cherry cola to me. But it's a, a little bit more creamier and it's a little bit more. And there's this, you know, there, and as I say, there's that sort of peachy apricot. I, I'd say it's sort of like a, a sort of a slight whiff of those, really. They're not dominant flavours. To me, the cherry is a big flavour. To be honest, although you had a bit of, I thought I had a whiff of the booze, but drinking it, it drinks like it drinks like a like a cherry cola as well. That you can't taste the alcohol in that at all. Ten and a half percent. Yeah. I mean, you could get into all kinds of trouble if you had a few of these. It's an interesting colour. I'm interested in the way that that sort of carbonation is just sticking to the glass there. The head's pretty much gone down, but it is very smooth, which makes it easy to drink, which is a nightmare for a 10.5% beer. 
it's not, I think there's too much going on with it, you know. I think um, we've had other beers from Vault City and there's just too much, too much happening for them to really sort of, you know, for it to come out. The key lime one was good, the apple, maple, pecan. They were really, really excellent. And to be honest, the ones from Tesco, the Tropical and the Raspberry was good as well. I had another one, which I can't even remember what it was in it now. Oh, what was that? I'm not sure what it was, but that was a little bit of a sort of too many different flavours. And that's similar to this. It's an interesting beer. It's a fun beer. And to be honest, the other thing is I would say about this there's not really any sourness. You don't really get a big hit of sourness. I almost forget when it comes to Vault City because I, I, I've never really had one where that where it really sort of goes, really puckers, it puckers up because it's really sour. This does, isn't sour at all. There's some nice fruit flavours, but just when you think it may be going a little bit sour, you get that sort of vanilla-y marshmallow sort of thing that sort of holds back the sourness. I prefer that. I don't really want something that's going to be like, going to make me keep puckering my lips every time I drink it. I'm not a big fan of, um, you know, sour sweets and stuff like that. I just I just find them a little, just too harsh, you know. But this is a lot smoother and more, it's just easy to drink, a 10.5%. It's a strange one. There's too For me, there's too many flavours. It's almost like, what we've got left over, let's chick it all in. And see what we get and I don't think it quite works it's certainly not horrible but you know Vault City have got very high levels that you know that, that we expect from them and this just hits the mark a little bit I think but if you see it and it's I mean again price wise I bought this a few quite a few weeks ago so I'm, I'm not sure how much I paid for it but it would be sort of six, seven, eight, something like that sort of pounds. Uh, not the cheapest, but obviously 10.5%. But it's it's a fun drink. It really is a fun drink. And, you know, I'm going to quite enjoy this. I'm going to sit down now and watch the Bake Off. And I think this is a good drink for watching the Bake Off with. Hits those sweet spots that you need. So let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for the Vault City Marshmallow Smoothie Sour with Cherry, Peach and Apricot. Ten and a half percent. It's not a bad beer, actually. You know, more, I, more I, as I've d been doing working out the scores and have a little sip of that, I'm thinking, yeah, it, it tastes quite good. But let's go through those scores. Aroma first. Well, you know, again, with some of these sort of um, sour, you know, these very fruity sours, you expect some nice, really inviting aromas, but it's... To me, it's got this sort of cherry Coke with a sort of something else in it. And actually, when I smell it again, it, it's reminding me of something. And, I, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's sort of like a... Actually, I think I have no, I do know what it is. It reminds me a little bit of a martini rosa, you know, a red martini. Uh, you know, and it's not that I drink red martinis, but... My mum certainly uh, is known to like the odd Cinsano, Martini, whatever, you know, those sort of vermouth, um, I, don't know what you, well, what, I don't know what you call them, they're not tonic wines, but they're, you know, the, it's got that sort of aroma to it. Yeah, it has got that aroma to it. So it's a bit like a sweet, um, you know, red Martini, but there's lots of, there's also this cherry coke sort of um, aroma. You've got also got this sort of slight vanilla aroma there with a the marshmallow. And then it's it's quite difficult to pick out distinct apricot and peach, but you know there's something else in there which you're gonna put that down to that. It smells pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's an interesting smell. It smells like a fruit punch drink. That's what it smells like. Um but I quite like it. So I'm giving it 14 for aroma. Appearance wise, well, it's certainly an interesting colour. It's almost like this sort of orange, burnt orange sort of colour, copper even. It had a little bit of a couple of fluffy head, but it did soon disappear. But it, you can see the sort of colour and the way it looks in terms of appearances that, you know, it's you know it's got quite a thick body to it. So I think it's it's pretty good. I'm giving it an eight for appearance. Flavour wise, well, firstly, it's ten and a half percent. It tastes like. It tastes like a punch, you know, which, you know, I know that can be quite, you know, when you put all those juices in and all kinds of different spirits, you know, it can almost doesn't taste as strong as it, you know, it is. And this this is what I get from this, really. 
It's got a, quite a smooth, creamy body. But it is, it's like a fruit punch or a martini. But it's got this sort of creamy element, which you don't really get with those sort of drinks, that just gives it a very sweet taste. There's no real, I wouldn't call it a, a sour really at all. There's no real sourness to it at all. It's just very fruity and sweet, but you don't really get the sweet and sour, just very, very sort of sugary flavoured. So, as I said, 10.5%, you, you, you could drink three or four of these and not realise, and then suddenly you'll be asleep. Um, but I think it's not bad, but there's a lot, there's almost too much going on for it to really get that. It's not as distinct as some of those other really great vault cities that we've had. So I'm going to get 33 for flavour. Value for money, well, it's a 10.5% drink, and I'm paying seven I say it was seven pound fifty or something like that. It was something like that. So, and it's in a slight. It's a three seven five. So it's a slightly bigger bottle, but it's not. Really, you won't really want to have a big, big bottle of that anyway. So, value for money. I think I only give it seven. I mean, yes, there's a lot going into it. You can tell that it's a it's a quality drink, but still seven and a half quid. Mm, I'm not sure. Seven. I'm going to give it because it's not it's not horrible. And I, and I think you know, I'm just thinking how much it is pound per. ABV sort of thing. So I think seven is a fair um, score for value. And then my overall experience, well, I've had a lot better Vault Cities. It, there's nothing wrong with this beer at all. I think if you like sour beers, and you're a big, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of sour beers, but if you're a big fan of sour beers, you might find it's not very sour. That's the big thing. There's almost too much going in, but it is... It's sweet and it's very different and it's a bit of fun. I just think it, there's too much going on for it to really get its to, to really be distinctive. I think back of that apple, maple, pecan. I mean, you think maple, pecan, apple, there's three things in that, but that was just really well balanced, a really nice drink. And even the key lime pie, I mean, that's very lime, chocolate, lime sort of flavour. But they two were really, really good beers. So I'm going to still kick stick with Vault City, and I'm interested in what they come up with next because, to be honest, they are they still that the sort of beer that they make these sort of sour beers, which are not really overly sour, but they just they just taste pretty good. You know, they're really really nice drink. I'm going to say refreshing. They're not really refreshing at ten and a half percent, but they're really fruity, and they don't taste too too artificial in that sourness like the sweets can do so i really like them i'm giving it 13 for overall and we top those scores up but i think 75 which is the total score is a an accurate sort of score for this there's much better vault cities out there and there's probably worse ones out there but this one you know again it's always worth trying it marshmallow smoothie sour with peach apricot and cherry yeah, there's a lot going on in this beer so i'm going to sit and relax and watch uh, and drink the rest of this beer this is a 75 so it's a white snake beer and i couldn't think of a more apt sort of beer because you've got to slide this one in slow and easy because there's no way you know that this is ten and a half percent unless you read the bottle beforehand so hope you've enjoyed this review hope you've seen that i've gone a little bit you know i've moved away from your pollies i've moved away from your new england's i'm going to sours i've got a couple of stouts in the fridge so i'm, bro I'm broadening my horizons you know and i know you guys out there I fed up with me drinking New England IPAs all the time. So this is the first step. And as we get closer to Christmas, there's going to be more fun drinks like this, definitely. So until the next one, you know what you've got to do. Please subscribe and like this video and keep on rocking.